Apple recently released a new app called Clips. And it's a pretty apropos name considering it allows you to take multiple short video clips, throw them into a timeline really quickly, add a bunch of effects, add text, audio, whatever, uh, and then produce a end result video pretty intuitively. And as is with Apple, there's no tutorial of any kind for how to use clips exactly. So I figured I would do a quick video for anybody that just kind of wanted to check out this new app. And the app is super minimalistic and simple, actually. It opens automatically to the camera, and from there you can tap the three options underneath to start getting content into the app. Photo lets you take a photo, then you can add to the end video as a clip by holding down the button for however long you want it to be shown after you have obviously clicked the button once to take the photo. You can also move the photo, zoom in on it, etc., while holding that button, and it'll add those movements to the final video. We also have video, which lets you hold down the button to record a video for that exact duration. And at the end we have library, which allows you to pick a photo or video that you've already taken and insert it into the end result, also by holding down on the button to insert it for that length of time. You can also tap on any of the clips once added to the timeline to then have the option to turn off the sound from that clip using the speaker icon. You can trim the clip using the scissor icon or delete it using the trash can icon. You can drag and drop the clips as well in the timeline at the bottom to rearrange them and push play to preview it. And that's pretty much the basic gist of the whole app, if we're honest. Uh, but then there are a bunch of features to then add things or alter those clips really easily and intuitively. So the few things that you can add to any of the clips or the video as a whole by tapping the icons at the top of the app are the message bubble, which lets you add text to the screen in a number of different formats that you can preview. The coolest thing about this though is that you don't have to type. You can just talk and it'll add the text automatically. Next to that, we have three overlapping circles. This allows you to add filters to any of the clips in the timeline. Photos or videos both work the same. Next to that, we have the star icon. And these are basically stickers. Uh, some of them are even geo-specific, which is very similar to another app that has geo-filters, if we're honest. You can also swipe over to get emoji stickers as well. And lastly, up there, we have the T in like a box. The T in that is probably for titles. These are clips themselves that can be added into the video like titles in any other video editing program. They don't actually go overlaid onto your photos and videos. They actually are their own clip in and of themselves. And then finally, you can add music over the entire video by tapping the music note at the top right corner. And you can then choose from Apple's library of soundtracks that they have listed or from anything in your own library. There you go, that's basically it. I mean, again, it's a simple intuitive app which is kind of cool. I mean, the biggest thing about it is honestly that it is so intuitive and so easy to use. Um, I, I probably will use it because I really liked Vine camera, which is essentially this, that whole concept of like holding on the button to shoot video. If you let go, you can then like move your shot around and hold it again and it ends up making like a six second clip. This kind of has that. And then I also like Snapchat and all the filters and stickers and all that fun stuff, which they also kind of have as well in this app. Uh, but it seems pretty cool and intuitive and I think people probably use it. I don't know, you guys tell me. Will you guys use this app, Clips? Do you think it's fun? Do you think it's good for anything at all? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, but if you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it, it's greatly appreciated. And if you want more tech videos, tutorials, tips, tricks, reviews, check out my channel. There's a link floating around here somewhere. And if you like what you see there, please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Oh, one more thing. So I actually got into this whole world by writing. I had a website, blog we'll call it, um, that became kind of popular uh, over the last 10 years and been doing that for a long time. Videos kind of came second. Uh, but I love doing these and I will continue to do them. But something that I do miss is writing again. And I miss the blog being an actual blog where I talk about cool things that are happening in the tech industry, tips and tricks, uh, a bunch of other stuff that might not necessarily warrant a video, uh, including like tech news, um, or just, I just have too much of and can't necessarily turn all into videos. So please, if you might be interested, click the link below and check out 
my blog. Let me know what you guys think on any of the social networks. I would love some feedback as this is kind of a passion thing for me that I'm restarting. Uh, so thanks. And again, thanks for watching.